very interested in your technique, man. Uh, so needle itself perforates the skin about uh, the thickness of your thumbnail. It's uh, going into that the top layer of the dermis. About, uh, I don't even know what that even that distance would be. It just it more or less is bouncing off, creating very minimal trauma on the tissue. So you get 98 to 100 percent pigment retention. And then I like to use a it's a secondary coating. Uh, it's like a fake skin. And it traps all that plasma in between it, and it heals almost like a, a bruise would. If you uh, smack your leg on a table or a chair, mm -hmm. you'll notice it uh, turns all blue and purple and, and eventually turns brown and yellow and all those other fun colors until it disappears. Well, that Saniderm, it acts like a secondary skin and allows that plasma to go to work on healing the top as well as the bottom, and it's not drying and turning into a hard scab. A lot of people don't realize is when that happens, you're losing a lot of that pigment because it's rising to the surface of the skin. And then it's not healing, it's not, it's not binding and being part of your tissue anymore. It's being rejected, it's bleeding out, it's hardening up. And then you pick it, and the next thing you know, they go chunk your tattoos gone, and you didn't take care of it properly, you didn't wash it, you didn't keep that plasma off, so. Oh, you fucked up my tattoo, bro. After you go swimming in the pool, yeah. and it's full of chlorine and all those chemicals, they, they like to try to blame us. But I've been doing this long enough, I'll be like, no, bro. <laughs> That's a chemical burn, your dumbass went and got in a pool. How you did, ain't gonna lie to me. <laughs> how does it not scab up? So if you uh, wash it religiously like you're supposed to, if you're not wearing the Saniderm. The cool thing about Saniderm is it's a, it's a waterproof protective barrier and uh, it allows it to heal at an even rate. And within three days to five days, you peel it off, all the dead skin and plasma comes off with it. It's like all that plasma that was sitting on top of it will just suck it right in. Mm. And you peel it all off and just, it's all dry and scaly. You want to wash it yeah. real good. What's the whole the, process is pretty gross, but... What's the, the best nice. way to, to have color retention... Just uh, by keeping it out of the sun, um, you know, definitely don't go swimming while it's healing of any kind. You jump in a, a pool or a lake or a stream, you got algae, things like that, that cause flesh-eating bacteria, and it definitely destroy your tattoo. Uh, definitely don't put neosporin or be on anti antibiotics before you get a tattoo, because that's also going to cause it to reject, being that it's a foreign substance that's being pressed into your skin, your body's going to go to fighting it.